This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I got a new camera. I went on a date last night, and then I went and bought this magnificent thing that I'm filming on. I spent all my money. I, I don't have any monies left. I also finished the body of the sweater, and I even worked on the ribbing this morning, and I'm just about to cast off. Um, I was actually needing to look up a YouTube tutorial for this because I forgot how to cast off where you know you do that fancy little like wave in wave out wave in wave out if you're like a really good knitter you would know what I'm talking about but if you're not a really good knitter you're like me and you, you don't really know what you're talking you don't really know what I'm talking about so I spent like an hour figuring out this bind off and um, it looks good now I figured it out it makes sense in my brain, but the beginning part, and eh, my sweater, it's like okay here. Obviously it looks so much better here. I tried to fix it. It's just, I wasn't doing it very tight because I didn't understand fully, but um, <sighs> live, laugh, love. Okay, so the thing about doing projects that take like five, six days is that I actually do have like a life other than just like knitting a sweater. And I plan to go to the Taylor Swift Airs Tour movie with my sister and breakfast, so that's what I'm gonna go do right now. But I'll be back, and I'll work on the sweater when I get back. I'm realizing now that it's like a big screen now, you can see everything, and most of the time I'm able to hide my messy place, because 90% of the time it's a disaster, but usually I just like cut out certain angles and I'm filming, I'm like, Haha, we'll just put it behind the camera. Slightly harder to hide. Finish the body. I'm gonna try it on for you guys. Don't laugh. Does it look good? I feel like the front's good, but as soon as you turn around. Okay, thoughts on the sweater? 10. So I just decided something. As I was knitting the sleeve, I was like, oh wow, this sleeve looks great. It feels so nice. And then I started to compare it to right here. And this is just not sitting. This is way too tight, this knit stitch here. Like I'm using way too chunky yarn here. It's, you can see it bulges here. It just, oh. It just, no, I'm not happy with it anymore. It looks like crap. Can we, can we share? Sharing is caring. I'm helping you, Jack. I'm helping you, Jack. Get it, Jack. Get it, Jack. Good boy, Jack. Get it, Jack. Jack, get it. Get it, Jack. Yeah, Jack. Benson, don't steal it. Benson is the biggest bully ever. He just steals all the toys Jack wants. So we're just gonna take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you guys have not heard of Squarespace before, they are this amazing website where you guys can create your own professional looking website. I personally have been using them ever since college and today I still use them for my website. There's a few features I love about Squarespace is one, you can have an online store with physical and digital products. Two, with that online store you can offer local pickup. And three, if you're an art designer like myself but you don't have any products you wanna sell, you can also set up an online gallery feature and add a password for your certain clients. Head to squarespace.com to start your free trial and then after your free trial, be sure to use my code JennaFips at checkout to get 10% off your domain or website. This is a very slow process taking apart this one. Back to um, what we had like two days ago now. I don't know how many times have I redone this sweater. This rate, this this video will be done in six months. Okay, I'm on it now and watch Love Is Blind. So 
last night I tried to be a late night person. I'm a morning person, so I stayed up till 12.30, which huge accomplishment. I don't know why. I thought I was going to stay up all night. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to knit all night because I'm, I'm so far behind on this project because I wanted to finish the body two days ago. We're still not done. So I thought I could do that last night. It turns out I, I get too tired and I stopped. So body's almost done. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. You can sit there. Not in the sweater. I did six rows of the binding. The, no, the ribbing. When I was learning this binding thing again, I seriously almost gave up. I almost quit knitting. I was so frustrated learning this because I was watching the videos and none of the videos made sense. No one did it nicely. They're like, yeah, this, 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 this. And I was like. So yeah, just a life lesson for y'all. I want to give up too sometimes. Low key looks like it should be on your six year old. I spend 75 days on this sweater and it comes back looking like I bought it at Old Navy for my five-year-old. <sighs> I'm gonna quit YouTube and go work at Old Navy and wear this sweater every freaking day. And honestly, when people come up to me, they're like, where is your sweater from? Because usually, you know, when you work in retail, I would assume that you'd wear like the clothes from the store. They're like, where is that sweater? I would just tell them it's like back corner and clearance. Probably wouldn't last very long at that job, honestly. Probably just tell everyone that comes in looking at sweaters in the fall and the winter, saying, you can just make it. Don't buy it, just, just make it. Just go home and make that sweater. To be so gentle. This is gonna snap any second again. <gasps> no! Okay, okay. Okay, body done. What if it's not good again? What if I have to redo it for a third time? Is it too short or is it perfect? Is it too short? To be honest, I feel like this makes my tit look good. Tits. I feel like it's got like these padded boobs built into this sweater. Like it looks, makes me look bigger. I love when I get updates about my nephew. Look at Billy. Can we see Billy? He looks like a marshmallow today. I'm going to a coffee shop to knit now. No money and my tips are frozen. Okay, I have some money, but I don't have $75 million. I wish I had $75 million. Because then if you had $75 million, you wouldn't have to worry about anything. Probably with $75 million, I'd probably buy three houses, one for me, one for Benson, and one for Jack. And I'd put them all beside each other on the street. So it'd be Jack, me, Benson. I got from here, no, here to here pretty good progress so I don't know if it's long enough we're getting there though oh it looks good the sweater you know it is kind of cropped I'm wearing high-waisted leggings and a little bit of a little stomach shows in here not ideal when it's cold out but okay live laugh love Sleeves slightly too long, so 
I need to start the ribbing like five rows ago, so I'm just gonna take some, I'm just gonna take actually all this off. That's a perfect slave. Sweater, done! It's done. You guys wanna see it? Also, I just thrifted this. Isn't this cute? Huh? Huh? I was worried it was gonna be a little short. It could have been an inch longer, you know, hindsight. Cause this is like pretty high-waisted pants and it's perfect, it is perfect. So I don't know yet. I will get a draft, you know when wearing this and then my upper body will be very sweaty. Like I'll probably be sweating in my armpits, but then shivering at my belly button. It's gonna be a weird sensation, but I like it. Here's a 360. I really like it. So far, this is the best sweater I have knit or crocheted to date. It's the best one ever. Ooh. That's actually really good. I was actually worried halfway. No, actually like a, a quarter way through that it was gonna be really ugly this sweater. Cause I was like not excited about what I did here. I just felt very rainbow vibes, but you know, the rest of it really brought the rainbow out and chucked it in the garbage. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have a pattern maybe. So um, stay tuned, bye.